Well, I'm glad you're with us. We're here today on Graceful Aging with an, with an expert, a wrinkle expert, Dr. David Sperlin. Doctor, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Now, with the skin, we're going to talk today about the skin on our face. We're going to talk about wrinkles because uh, as we age, we get these things called wrinkles and lines. Well, you know, what is skin? You know, what, what is that? Well, skin is the largest organ of the body. It uh, helps us in a lot of different ways. It helps with temperature regulation, uh, sensation, uh, water loss, so it keeps us balanced as far as how much water we lose through sweating and things like that. It holds all of our organs in and it does a lot of different other things too. Our skin is very personal to us because everyone else can see it as well. And, and how does skin age? Well, our bodies change as we mature. Our skin changes, everything changes. And our skin changes usually by developing some lines and wrinkles. Uh, it thins out a little bit as we mature and to some degree it's got more blood vessels that show other changes like that as we mature. You know, when I was in your office, I put my face in one machine that I think will be showing up <laughs> on the screen now, and, and it did. It was kind of shocking to see the photo of what's just underneath the layer of skin. How did I get that way? Well, most of the uh, changes that we saw in your skin were environmental changes. Most of them for, were from sun exposure over your entire lifetime. You know, our skin is very unique in that it's like an elephant's memory. It doesn't forget. So the sunlight that you got when you were two years old running around your yard to now that you're 35, Greg. <laughs> I like that, yeah. So, you know, all of those years of being outdoors, uh, washing the car, running around, playing with your brothers and sisters, everything else, swimming, all that sun is, uh, you know, it adds up. All that damage adds up. And we can't always see it with the naked eye, but with the machine that you were talking about, which is a complexion analysis machine, we can see some of the damage that's been done that's a little bit beneath the surface. What is good healthy skin for an individual? Well, I think it's a tough question because good healthy skin depends on your age, sun exposure, and other environmental factors, wind, cleanliness, you know, uh, lots of different things. So if your skin is doing its, uh, its job, you know, if it's keeping the elements out, if it's uh, not uh, been damaged too much by sun exposure, if you don't have skin cancer, things like that, your skin is most likely healthy. I don't think the question nowadays is how healthy is your skin. We want our skin to look better, which is a, a different question to some degree. You know, we all want our skin to look its best. Healthy is one thing, looking its best is something different. And I understand there's three different layers mm -hmm. of skin. What, do those, what are those three different layers and, and what do they do and which one causes wrinkles? So there are three different layers. The epidermis is the outermost layer. The dermis is the thickest and you know, middle layer. Mm -hmm. And then the subcutaneous or we would typically say adipose or fat uh, is the third layer. Uh, the outermost layer helps and they all kind of work together to some degree with you know water loss and sensitivity um, the wrinkles that we're mainly focused on today we're talking about the middle layer mm -hmm. we're talking about the dermis that's where the collagen is and collagen is one of the subjects su substances in our skin that kind of gives its skin a, the snap back and the strength so uh, the dermis is the uh, the area that we should probably focus on what happens to that layer that would facially show us a wrinkle then? You know, probably the best way to think about it is think of your dermis or your skin as like a rubber band. When you have a new rubber band, it has a snap back, it has a spring. Mm -hmm. But as we mature, just from genetics, environmental factors, you know, like an old rubber band, it doesn't snap back as well. It loses its elasticity. And there is tissue in our dermis called elastin, a, a tissue called elastin, which gives our skin its strength as well as its snappability mm -hmm. and as we get older we lose that you know that snapback and mm -hmm. once you lose that your skin starts to fold and starts to wrinkle and things like that.